on? What are you seeing? Yeah, uh, we, we had the hail officially move through. It was pea-sized hail, so not especially large. I would go with pea to dime-sized hail that was coming down. We're here on Tryon, so a tremendous amount of rain, and you could feel the twist of the wind. So we are just outside. So where Brad has been showing the signature on the velocity scope of where this thing potentially could be, we were just on the outskirts of that, and the hail was coming down on the outskirts of that, just to the north uh, uh, here on Tryon. But then you could also see the change in the winds that are revolving around it because that's how this all works. There's different downdrafts that are twisting back into the system and the visible imagery that we're seeing just even driving around, there's a lot of twists to the atmosphere. So as this is continuing, so again, right where you're seeing those pinks, we're just where you're seeing the velocity scope where there's a little bit of rotation we're just to the north of that so we're just on the outside our next point of action is going to be moving closer to 77 but i need everyone to be especially safe with this because we're heading into a very populated area even driving around that the lightning was picking up the hail we have all the right ingredients that within a matter of seconds this could be dropping down but let's look really closely as we're getting up on this you can see the edge of the clouds but then it's just down to the south you can see the edge of this system i'm not picking up on where the funnel cloud potentially could be or that but definitely everything is pointing to that we have everything could quickly change in an instant so brad we're going to continue to try to get behind it the safest way for us to track this is to be behind the system we're just around it but everyone needs to be careful especially where we have the intersection of 485 to 77 the rain was really coming down this is a pretty mean storm and this is only the leading edge. Yeah, thanks, Chris. I know exactly where you are, and we're going to focus in on that area. So where Chris is is basically where 485 and 77 come together. This is heading towards uh, uh, basically the South Boulevard exit on 485, which then goes over towards the Pineville Matthews Road exit right there by um, Carolina Place Mall. You get the Home Depot off to the right there. You know, if you're going to Atrium um, um, Health Center right there, that's where the circulation is. And so as we look at the circulation just on the north side of Pineville, so some of the roads that are in here, that's South Boulevard. There's East he Hebron Street. So, you know, light rail line comes straight down here. Um, and goes all the way down to the 485 stop on the blue line. So that's the area we're talking about right there, and it's pushing off to the east, and it's basically heading towards areas um, just along Park Road and Sharon Road West, so just south of Park Road Park, and then maybe as far south as Pineville are the areas of concern. Now, I'm actually going to pop up the camera uh, down there in that area. This is actually near Pineville. This is actually from the roof of my house. Um, so this is looking off towards the west southwest off to the right is the storm and I'm looking at the bottom. I know our super is kind of blocking it, but at the very bottom, I actually can see a little lowering um, just above the tree line. Now I can't see a tornado per se, but I see what looks like a wall cloud and that's ex the exact same spot that we're tracking this storm.